Update, update on our attendance challenge. Kootenai Pirates, last week we were at 94% attendance. We got to get that up if we want to meet our goals. We had 70 late arrivals, that's lower than 81, and we had 40 early dismissals. Well done last week, first grade. You were the most attended class. Keep up the great work. Whoop, whoop. Sometimes we can feel pretty mixed up. It can be hard to pay attention. It can be hard to have fun with so much stirred up inside. Let's see if focusing on our breathing can help settle our swirling thoughts, our mixed up emotions. Rest back in your chair or settle into a comfortable seat on the floor. Now imagine a glass jar. This jar is full of water and glitter. Let the glitter be your thoughts and emotions. And imagine that for the moment, those thoughts and emotions are pretty mixed up. Swirling around and around. Have you ever felt like this? Swirling on the inside. Let's try to settle those swirling thoughts and emotions with long, slow out breaths. First, gently place your hands on your belly. Try to notice your muscles working to help bring air in and move air out of your body. Breathe in and slowly breathe out. Good. Now check in with the swirling. Are those thoughts and emotions still so mixed up? Let's try again. Breathe in and make your exhale longer than usual. Those swirling thoughts are starting to settle. Keep your hands on your belly for another breath. Inhale and slowly exhale. Look, things aren't swirling around as much. Try a couple breaths, each at our own pace. Hands on your belly. Breathe in. Make a long out breath. Easy and calm. A couple more. Breathe. The swirling has slowed down. Maybe even stopped. The thoughts and emotions are still there, but they've settled. Sometimes you'll notice swirling on the inside of you. Long, slow out breaths might help you calm things down. Place your hands in your lap. Close your eyes if you'd like. Check in on your own jar. Swirling or settling. Maybe you notice slowing down. Maybe not. That's okay. Just notice for you and breathe. Good morning, Kootenai Pirates, and happy Wednesday. I loved that flow from Go Noodle. That's a really great way to have a good wellness Wednesday. I hope that you liked it too, and we can have a great day. All right, today is the first day of March, March 1st. We are crazy for books today, wearing our crazy or mismatched socks. Tomorrow, it's hats off to reading. Wear your favorite hat. For lunch today is a hot dog with french fries. If you don't want that, you can always have that hot cheesy, wait, today's Wednesday, so it's cheesy breadsticks with marinara. So we've got Maine is a hot dog with french fries. Choice is cheesy breadsticks with marinara. Mmm, tough decision there. Happy birthday today on March 1st to fourth grader Lucas Lohman. Happy birthday to first grader Myla Willard. And happy birthday to first grader Peyton Yates. Have a great birthday today, you guys. All right, like I said, we are right in the middle of Read Across America Week. I hope you all are reading, reading for Silverwood, getting those logs turned in, having a wonderful week and working hard. Let's have a great March, Kootenai Pirates. You may now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> 